Ladies and gentlemen, please keep that applause going and welcome to the stage the very wonderful, lovely and very talented comedian Penny Ashton! Thank you very much. Hello everybody! Hello! I'm just going to move this out of the way before we start. I'll just put that back there. Hello everybody. Now I'm going to bring a slightly different angle to proceedings tonight. Uh, I do have something a bit wrong in my head, but I'm a little different and that's that I'm epileptic. Yay! Do we have any other epileptics in the house? Just show over here. Oh, Paula, we're everywhere. Oh, hi. Isn't that exciting? I don't know about you, I was diagnosed when I was 16, uh, and I was actually in school assembly. Hooray! Had a nice big fit in school assembly. Um, and I got um, diagnosed and given some pills that were called Tegretol Retard. <laughs> That's always fun when you're 16. These are your retarded medication. Uh, it does mean, of course, that I'm allowed to make jokes about it. Um, like, what do you call an epileptic in a tree? Russell. What do you call the epileptic wrapped in lettuce? A seizure salad! Thank you, thank you very much. I'll be leaving in four minutes, you can relax. <laughs> thank you, one person. Yes! Um, yes, but this <laughs> Look at here! Oh, excuse me, family friendly. Um, anyway, so yes, this was, it was all quite full on. I started taking the Tegretol retard, uh, which does mean slow release, by the way, if you're curious. Um, but then I didn't realise that this medication actually made me put on a whole lot of weight. But I didn't realise that that's what that was happening for about 16 years. And I kept trying to diet, I oh, know that's just funny, but it's actually true. Um, I kept trying to diet and lose weight and I couldn't, and, and I had to give up on my dreams of being a ballerina. Aww. I know, do we have any other be, want to be ballerinas in the house? Yeah, yeah I don't know, you can just feel the pain when people say that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but these sort of didn't really help. <laughs> the medication didn't have much to do with these, uh, but you're supposed to, they're supposed to stop moving when you do, and, and mine don't. Um, and then I thought, well, I won't be a ballerina, I'll be a, an actress, because that doesn't rely on body image at all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I move up to Auckland, I get myself an acting agent. Now some of you are probably going, how do we know her? I'll clarify that for you. It'll be from my three episodes on Shortland Street in the year 2000. <laughs> there we go, thank you, that's right. I was Dr. Margaret Cole, obstetrician gynaecologist. So this was me. I'll just warm that up for you there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that whole thing. But my first audition for Shortland Street, they were like, now we want you to be this ballroom dancing doctor, the, the, the nurse, that this doctor, he doesn't want to dance with you because you're too fat, you'll be great. Thanks. I know, it's alright, you can laugh, I'm over it now. Um, but the best audition I ever got, they were like, now we want you to do gymnastics on a beam. Okay, I can do that, I was going to be a ballerina. Then I found out that the ad was for reinforced wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it didn't break. Uh, but I didn't actually get that ad, thank Christ. Uh, but anyway, so you can imagine that all these can get to a girl, but then after about 16 years, I, I found out that, that Tegretol can make people put on weight. Uh, so I changed my medication to one called Lamotrigine, uh, and, and you see the spelled name, the camel lookalike, in front of you now. <laughs> Uh, but I did lose some weight, so it's always good to sort of test out the different medications and think about things uh, that way. Uh, so that's my little public service announcement. I have another one, and that is um, Durex. Make a, bra a brand of condoms called the Pleasure Max Condom. Now, apparently a Pleasure Max Condom has a lot of dots and ridges on the condom. And on the packet, it's supposed to be like a strobe, because apparently when you have an orgasm with Pleasure Max Condoms, it's like seeing strobes. <laughs> so, madam down the front, Sarah over there, you should avoid the Pleasure Max Condoms. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it might be more entertaining for the other person if you start going like this sort of halfway through. But, you know, you might bite off something that you weren't supposed to, so just be careful. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, I'm going to finish now. I'm going to finish now because I have been inspired by this whole thing to become a rapper. Yo, as you can tell. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be called MC Epi. Uh, and this is my epileptic rap, so take it away up there, please. Feel free to start dancing. Hurricane Penny at 
addictive content. TNT on CNN. Al Qaeda has stolen my cream. Suicidal synapse is pink with uranium. My brain is out to lunch, and on my tongue, I'm having a lunch. But though my skills are in malfunction, I haven't lost control of my bodily functions. <laughs> Which, quietly, you obviously, I was really worried. <laughs> I was at school this evening. I didn't want to do that. Everybody, join me! Back to kosher. Recovery position. I'm in remission. My landlady got an electrician. My homies and the wiggers are back in their hood, and this empty wrapper slapper is all good. But ladies and gentlemen, please, I do not want your pity because through it all, I am sure that I looked incredibly pretty. <laughs> Thank you very much.